Good morning everyone, it's 8.45 a.m. I feel like I got a lot done already this morning and this is probably going to be the last little bit of video from me. You're probably saying thank God Francis because you're making so many videos this morning but we're over here at astrometry.net and if you didn't know it I'm feeling good because I found Pluto or I think I found Pluto or we're going to find out but at least I found something which is always a good thing. Uh, let me log into astrometry.net using my Google ID. And we're going to go because what I did on uh, February 1st, February 1st, is I uploaded, or I didn't upload, I didn't know, I did upload my images of Pluto. I'm just going to find it because there's Eros and here's two images of Pluto. We're going to find out which one is the good one. Okay. I hope that we're going to be able to find it here. This is, uh, when was this up? Well, this, what was the other one? Let's look at the other image. Let's see if it has better. It shows me down here all the stuff that's in the photo, but I'm not really interested in all that stuff. interested in Pluto let me go to, uh, red green dot we'll go to full size and see I don't see it picking it up that's interesting we're gonna do the astrometry on what I think I found but I can see that it doesn't even have You see the the program uses these real red and green dots. Am I gonna be able to find it? I'm not even gonna be able to find it, but I think it's right. Okay, that's it right there. And it does see this is it's picking up these stars, but it is not picking up Pluto. And what we're going to do, anyways? Interesting. What we're going to do, and now we're going to see, it moves from here to here. I have to upload uh, the other one. I'm going to have to upload the Fitz image from um, mytelescope.net. But let's work on this one anyways, because that, that's my object right there. I know it is. And uh, I need to decrease that. There it is, right there. And it moves from here to there. Okay, so what am I going to do next? What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Getting a little little anxious here. Let's, we got to grab this new Fitz image. Uh, we'll download that. New image 4. Now we got to come over here to our SAO image DS9. I hope that you all are enjoying this little experience that we're all going through together. If I was a trained scientist, it would sound a lot better and probably be a lot less exciting. Let's file, open, documents, downloads, and we want new image for. New image for open. Okay. Um, we got to scale this. Let's do this 99. What am I looking at? What am I looking at? I want to zoom. Okay, this is upside down. This appears to be upside down. I'm just gonna make my life difficult. View horizontal out, vertical out. No, I don't like that. I was used to this. When I was that lot. Okay, let's find it. Where where is our object? 
No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Oh, people. Time where it let's go back here. Let's look at this again. Full. And again, I would have actually expected Pluto to be circled or noted. This is it. And look at how the stars are. It's one, two, three there. One, two, three there. Let's see. This is so confusing. One, two, three there. That's where it is. One, two, three, four. It's getting crazy here. One, two, three, four. And it moves from here. One, two, three, four. Here to here. Here to here. On its way to here. That's where it is. I thought it was moving up. It wasn't. It was moving toward here. One, two, three, four. It's upside down, but I can handle this. One, two, three, four. Okay. Let's zoom in. Let's do the one. One, two, three, four. coordinates down you'll see them up here 1834 48 0 .25 3 negative 19 18 14 9 9 okay I hope my friend T-Bar is looking at this see what we can get on it see if somebody can help me match this up to Pluto see if this is Pluto but this is what I'm working with I just did the astrometry on the object that I was looking at if you're confused I'll let you know that we're all learning together but we must make these steps take these steps to get to a solution so what I am Well, I'm just going to wait and see. I was going to say what I'm hoping this isn't is uh, a result or a RBI, a residual bulk image of the focus star. I do not believe that is so. Do not believe that is so. So, but uh, we're going to work on the astrometry of this object and. We're also going to take a, another day's worth of images and see if we can get this uh, on the third day, um, and that would help to confirm. So we are working on astrometry. We are astronomy, and using astrometry to do that. And we're all going to learn about what is the, what what it is that Francis is seeing and what it is that Francis is looking at and seeing if Francis is any good at doing what he's supposed to be doing. Hopefully this is Pluto, and if it isn't, hopefully I've caught something undiscovered, but I have to deliver these coordinates now and compare them to, let's close this out, well, 
let's close, okay, video manager, I want to see if I can get to the uh, coordinates, imaging Pluto in the Kuiper belt on fe February 1st, let's get in there, let's see if I can see what coordinates see what coordinates we were working with from the beginning why isn't the picture changing okay so it's slewing to a focus star let's stop okay that does not look like mine Let's keep going. True image center. So I, and I have to learn all this, so I'm going to tell you, I don't believe I'm making mistakes. There it is, right there. Target Pluto. 1834 48. 1918 that is it that is it that is exactly what I just wrote down what I wrote down from doing my astrometry with uh, 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 is 1834 48.253 and negative 19 18 14.99 to me that confirms that object is Pluto so if I could get let's see if we could get uh, any of our friends like T-Bar 1984 to confirm it with software but according to where the telescope was pointing and the astrometry that I got from the image exactly and I didn't do that before. I just found the image and I put the cursor on it, and that was the reading. It did it. So um, I'm gonna give myself a round of applause, yay, and a pat on the back if it true, proves to be true. Uh, which you know, if this all doesn't prove to be true, then it still isn't me. Okay, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I almost look like an astronomer these days. So I hope you have a great Friday. Join me this evening from 8 to 10 p.m. in New York City. That is at midnight UTC minus 5. Nope. That's 1 a.m. UTC time. 1 a.m. UTC or 8 p.m. in New York City for episode 35 of Collision Course on Revolution Radio. Tonight's guest is going to be Suspicious Observers, my friend. How you doing, buddy? It's going to be great to talk to you tonight. I look forward to it. Like I said, you're going to have the whole show if you want. Tell us what's up. Give us some insight. I hope you got a lot to talk about so that I'm not babbling on for the whole evening. And I know how much everyone enjoys Collision Course, so tonight's going to be a great show. I've been working hard this week, going to the observatory now, going to paint some more trim, finish that job move forward, move ahead, do the astrometry, my friend. Goodbye. <laughs>